my scapegoat's back in my summer car. Here we are, stand in the garage. It's thunderstorming. I need to pick up my car, I think. Um, it should be, like, it's been a couple of days. <laughs> I've been wandering around doing nothing. Just, try I need to smoke. That's what I need to do. But I've been wandering around basically doing nothing to try to pass the time until the car is ready to go. And it hasn't happened yet, and it's Wednesday. So I'm going to have a smoke. And I'm hoping he calls sometime soon. I'm not even sure what time it is. It's like 10 in the morning, maybe 11 in the morning. But I, it, nothing like he hasn't called. And I made sure my phone was plugged in and everything. Ah, uh, that's better. I'll tell you. Nothing better than good pee sometimes. You wake up in the morning, you put your... Any guy can attest to this. You get up. You go to the bath. You put your hand on the wall. <laughs> you hold yourself up and have a pee. And like, oh, yeah. Good times, man. Nothing like a good pee. All right, let's go have a shower. Is my phone plugged in? Yeah, I, I plugged it in the other day when I was wandering around. Because I, wa I want to make sure I get the phone call. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, better. Okay. So, oh, go. Oh, phone's ringing. Phone is ringing. Okay, hello? Okay, my car's ready. Flatari is ready to take my car. I don't want to be on the phone long. Someone told me apparently you can get electrocuted by being on the phone during the rainstorm. Sorry, I thought I heard something weird here. Is this still working? Did the power go out? Oh, my power must have gone out. Okay, no problem. So we're going to go to Fatari's in this horrible storm and get our car back. This is so loud. Close this up. I don't need anybody. The bear's coming in here and stealing my stuff. The bear's, the bear's, the bear's. All right, let's get in here. There, I feel safer in the car during a rainstorm. All right. Uh, I used to live out in the country, and I'll tell you, man, I used to live near this town named uh, Strathroy in, on London, or in uh, Ontario, Canada, and I was driving this one day with an ex-girlfriend. This is going way back, and it was raining so hard you couldn't see. Like, you had to, like it was just brutal. I'm sure people who live in, like, tropical countries know exactly what that's like. But living here, you don't normally get storms that bad. It's American flag. All right. Seatbelt on. Lights on. Wipers on. Yeah, the whole lights on thing is just a habit I developed over the years when there's whenever it's raining. That's why I always like daytime running lights, man. It's just easy. Let's see here. We're gonna... All right, so we're going to shove this in here, and we're going to put this in reverse. Ease out of the brake a bit. All right, let's back this thing up. Automatics are nice this game because they're torquey. Well, the only automatic I've driven is this one, I guess. But all right, let's put it in gear. Got to rotate the steering wheel back. All right. I'm currently using the paddle shifters to make my life a bit easier. There we go. So we're gonna go to Flatari's, pick up the car, and then this is my plan for today. We're gonna get the car, we're gonna bring it home, and I'm gonna do a tune-up on it. I bought those spark plugs and everything, and I gotta replace the headlight. So that's the whole plan for today. Boy, I'll tell you, I absolutely hate driving this car. <laughs> like, it's fast and everything, but anywhere but the highway, it's awful. And it's just so all over the place. And I'll tell you, like, I've driven some pretty uh, interestingly powerful cars in my day, and they didn't handle like this on gravel if you were careful. But geez, this thing is, this thing's like, it's trying to murder you. The, it's like a first generation Dodge Viper. No safety crap, just kill yourself, good luck. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of the whole, the whole design philosophy behind it. And for all those who are concerned about these things, Carol Shelby actually had a hand in the original Viper. Hence the name Viper, because the whole Cobra thing. Whoa, okay. Didn't look for a train. That's just how that's how I roll, bro. I'm as dangerous as all get out. There is something up with this game today. I it, the, everything feels off. This stuff isn't turning when it's supposed to, and it's just a whole thing. Feels like it's getting caught in jello almost. We don't need a train, we don't need a train. Okay, there we go. 
Normally I just listen for it, but lately it's just like, take the risk. Go for it, scapegoat. Just go for it, buddy. And knowing my luck, everything's gonna go bad. <laughs> but we'll go grab the car, bring it home, swap out the spark plugs, change the headlight that's broken. But I think that'll be kind of a fun day, you know, do the things that need to get done so we can start uh, collecting money. And it's going off the road for no reason. It's going off the road for no reason. Well, okay, there we go. Okay, start collecting the, uh... boy, that was bad. You know what's weird about that? I didn't even have my foot on the brakes. All right, so, yeah, then we collect the parts to go drag racing, because I'm gonna need the, uh, the nitrous kit. And, uh, yeah, pretty much just an nitrous kit and a set of drag tires. So it's not going to be that expensive, probably about eight or nine grand. But, you know, just want to make sure everything's good. And I'm not sure how to do the drag race, so I'm kind of interested by that. All right, there we go. Oh, there's my car. There's my car. What's up, buddy? I missed you, bro. There we go. Let's just pull this in here. I don't care about Fatari's car, so there we go. I can stop there. And park. All right. Mission off. Let's go see what Fatari's saying. All right. Let's see what we got here. What's up, Fatari, buddy? What are you saying? Derby, derby. Meet me you, you, know, you know what's Boy, on my... Okay, let me, let me talk. Let me talk. So, no, what's on my mind? You know what? Hey, hey, hey. You know what? I try to be nice to you. I come in here, I give you business, and you're a dick. You know what? Your hair's falling out. I don't even care. I'm leaving. You know what? Screw you. Hello, baby. Oh, you need a paint job again. But other than that, you're looking pretty sweet. Looking pretty sweet. I might have paint in the garage. Someone said I should do a metallic paint job. I don't necessarily disagree. I do like metallic paints. So maybe I'll save the money for doing that too, but that's going to cost a bundle, man. Like, it is expensive to uh, do the paint jobs and stuff. The body work alone in this thing is ridiculous. Come on, baby. It should be back to a... Don't you stall on me. It should be back to a regular tune at this point. So hopefully it doesn't stall as much and it'll help those spark plugs actually work. I'm assuming at this point it's either the tune or the spark plugs, but my tune looked fine on the air fuel meter. So hopefully it was just one part of the car was out of whack. And there it goes. Stalls. I'm going to warm it up so that it can get, uh... like I said, I'm hoping it's the spark plugs because after that, I don't know. All right, we'll try to get it home in this condition and see how that goes. Clutch in. Let's see here. Oh, God damn. What is wrong with this thing? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's really bogging down. Yeah, it's losing power like now. I can't even rev it up. <laughs> Like, like I said, in the higher RPMs, it's not that bad. But like right now, it will not accelerate at all. Like not even slightly. Huh. I wonder what's wrong with this thing. It's not flooding out. The air fuel mixture is perfect. So we'll swap out the spark plugs. We'll see what's going on there. Um, like I said, the air fuel mixer sitting at 14.7, and that's that's damn near perfect. So I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the deal is here, but we're gonna have to figure it out. And also, the air fuel mixer should be way off if, if the spark's not working, because there should be unburnt fuel in the exhaust, which air fuel mixer meter reads. So this is kind of a, an enigma to me at the moment. Hopefully, it's enough I can get it home. That race really took it out of this poor little car. This poor thing. Yeah, like, I got it matted and it won't go over 65. There we go. It's going up a little now. 
There we go. All right, let's pull it down in here. It's going to stall. There we go. Okay, so something's not right. We got to figure this out, but we'll, we'll tune it up here. Get her all tuned up and nice, and then we'll just be done with it for now. And then uh, the next episode, we can figure it out. We should probably repaint the body, too, but we'll get to that. Oh, yeah. I need you to come off. And you off. And you off. And you off. And then can I just... There it is. All right. Put you here for now. All right. Nice. I can't think of what's causing this. Like I said, the most I got in my mind right now is we'll try the spark plug, see if that helps any. And then we'll go from there. We also got to replace that headlight. So this will be, wait a minute. Is this, is this my paint? There we go. Let's try this. Shake it up. All right. What? Okay. Yeah, it's blue paint. Why is it not painting the rest of the car? Okay, this is messed up. What? Why is this not working? There we go. Jeez. All right. Now you're blue again, so that's cool. All right, get rid of you. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Get my toolkit. And now we'll replace those spark plugs and whatnot. We'll see if that helps. All right, let's let's uh, let's crack this open. Do I, do I think I have a, a spark plug socket, don't I? There it is. Uh, let's see. Are we on? Okay, that's wrong. All right. But two, and then we'll take this, and then we'll take out the spark plugs. There we go. Back that one off. Back that one off. That one off, and... That one off. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to get those. <laughs> okay, pick this up. Okay, I just need to get... Uh, okay, got to get you out. Okay, drop you. Where's the other ones? Looks like they may have fallen all the way through. Yeah, it looks like they're on the ground underneath. So, we're going to get those now. Because if I don't... Uh, I'm going to throw them over there. Because if I don't, I'll mix them up with the new ones. I can feel it. Well, I don't know if you have to actually do this, but there we go. All right. Like, I can't tell if they're bad or not. I don't know if that's actually a thing in the game, but I guess we'll find out. So we'll open this up. We got one spark plug box. We'll open this up. This has four spark plugs in it. Boom, boom, boom. New spark plugs. All right. Put this in here. There's one. <sighs> Whoop. Okay. I'm just, I'm all over the place. There's two. Rainstorm's coming back. Three. And four. See, this is how I like to do things. Simple, simple stuff. Just putting in parts that are easy to do. None of this tearing the whole engine down business. All right. How are you guys today? I hope you made it this far in the video. Let's check the oil while we're here, because it's probably pretty... I did an oil change right before the race, but Lord knows. Let's see here. Uh, you know what? It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. All right. Perfect. Okay. I don't think it's overheating. The heat gauge isn't going all wild. So let's uh, fire it up and see if the uh, see if she idles a bit better. All right. It should still be warm, I think. All right. Let's... Uh, running a little rich because she's cooled off a bit but okay I think that might have solved it how do we get at the headlight pod I don't remember how you get at that oh it's just two bolts in the back there okay no problem do I gotta take the grill off first is that the deal because I feel like this is getting bigger than those. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's two. Pop. Okay. No, it won't pop out. Okay. Pop. Okay. Maybe we got to take the grill off too. There we go. This should let me pop this light out. 
Okay, the light disappeared. Um. Um. Hello? <laughs> where, where, where did my light go? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? Where, where is it? Okay. There we are. All right. So let's, um, how do we get the light out of this now? There it is. All right. You can go over there. I'm just, I'm collecting a lot of junk around here. I got to get rid of, because I'm assuming that's a lot of the, the problem with this. All right. The light can go in. All right. That's better. And this can go back in there. Boom. And then we switch to this one. Was it? Was it an eight mil? No, it was a seven, wasn't it? See, even I don't remember when I just did things. All right, let's see here. Lights on. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. All right, put the grill back in. Car's idling great now. Look at that, eh? See, sometimes you just, you know your car and you know what it is. But I should probably take it for a rip at some point here just to make sure it's going to go out for a rip. Okay, let's put this in there like that. All righty. Okay, that's all buttoned in, buttoned up, buttoned down. I think. Yeah, because she's idling like a champ right now. All right, let's see here. I knew it. Fucking spark plugs, man. I fouled a spark plug racing hard like that. I don't know why you won't go on where you're supposed to go on. Why won't you go to your home? I had it. I had it. I had it. Fuck a noodle do. It was right there. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Just get on the damn car, you son of a gun. Don't fly away. Okay, we just got to get you on there. We, I'm so angry. I'm so angry right now. Just get on the damn car. God, okay. Just, just close this on before it comes back off again. All right, Hood, freak out for a while. It always does this, and then eventually it just settles into place. Both headlights are working again. The car's idling. This is exactly what we needed. I hit the door with my hand. All right, let's get in here for a sec. I don't got a lot of fuel left, do I? Oh, what? My fuel gauge should not be full. Oh, no, it is because I went to town and I filled it up. Yeah, that was right in the last episode. I filled it up before I dropped it off of Atari's. That's right. Let's see here. I just want to... Oh, yeah, that's better. That, you can feel it in the, in the acceleration there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Unbuckle this. Shut this down. All right. So that is how you fix a car that will stall constantly with the spark plugs. I'm going to leave this mess here because I just want to quit because that hood made me mad. So I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I've been getting a lot of good views on this. I really appreciate it, guys. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe hit the little bell. Because ringing bells is a good time. And if you did not like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. That hood is vibrating like my loins. Out.